My name is Captain 37, and in this presentation, I'm going to take you through this paper. Question number one. Find the next number in the sequence 23, 20, 17, 14, dash. How you approach this question is you write down the numbers in the order in which they have been given, like I am doing right now. And then you check what is the difference between this number and that number, between 20 and 17, between 17 and 14. It's going to give you an idea of what is the difference between the numbers. So, for example, 23 take away 20 is going to give you 3. 20 take away 17 is going to give you 3. 17 take away 14 is going to give you 3. So you see that the difference is the number 3. 3 is the difference. And so to find the next number in the sequence, we are going to take away 3 from 14. And 3 from 14 is going to give us 11. You will see that the difference again is going to be 3. And so the answer here is going to be A. Question number 2. Add this number to this number. How do you read out these numbers? The first one is 251,279. The second one is 384,945. What we are doing is we have to add. This is what this question says. So we are adding 251,279 to 384,945. We are adding these numbers. And so remember to put the sign there, the plus to show that you are adding. 9 plus 5 is 14. So we write 4 and carry forward 1, which I am going to write there. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So I'm going to write 2 and carry forward 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 9 is 12. So I'm going to write down 2 and carry forward 1. And I'll write that 1 there. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. The next is 5 plus 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. So I'm going to write down 3 and carry forward 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So this is our answer. Do we have this answer anywhere in this list? So we check. Okay, we're going to check. Is it this one? No, it is not. Is it this one? No, it is not. Is it this one? No, it is not. Is it this one? Yes, it is. And therefore the answer is D. Question number three. Express 0 0.45 as a percentage. A percentage is any number. For example, if I say 25%, what I mean is it is 25 over 100. In this particular question, it is going to be 0 0.45 divided by 100. And the answer is... A, 45%. Question number four. Which of the lines in the diagram is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is a line that divides a shape into equal sides. For example, let me draw a rectangle. If you look at this rectangle I've drawn here, this is an example of a line of symmetry because if I fold A 
and side B, it's going to be equal. Another line of symmetry for this one is in this particular direction. It means that if I forward the sides that you can see, the shape is going to be the same. And so that is the principle we are going to apply here. And we've been given options. Option number one is GH. Option number B is EF. Option number C is BD. And option number C is SC. So if you look for GH, G, G is here and H is here. This line that's over here. If you drew this line, I... Are the sides of the shape going to be equal? The answer is no. Let's look at EF. E is here and F is here. If these lines were, if, if, if this line that's here was used to divide this particular shape, are you going to have the same equal sides? The answer is no. How about if it is BD? So B is here and D is here. This particular line does not mean that the shape is going to be equal when you fold it. And so the last option we have is AC. A is here and C is here. And this is the line between these particular two. It means that when you fold this particular shape, the lines are going to be equal. Are they going to be equal? The answer is yes. And therefore, the answer for question number four is D. Question number five, 823,146 minus 371,502 is equal to, we're dealing with an issue of subtraction. So I'm going to write two, oh, that's eight. Huh? So I'm going to write eight, two, three, one, four, six. And from this one, we are supposed to take away 371, Five zero two, right there, and make sure we put a sign to know that what we're doing is subtraction. Six minus two is four. Four minus zero is four. One minus five, it can't. So we are going to take away one from this three, and this is going to be 11. 11 minus five is six. Remember that from this 3, we took away 1. So what has remained here is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And so we have got now 2 take away 7. 2 cannot take away 7. And therefore, from this particular 8, we are going to get 1 so that we have 12 minus 7. Now, 12 minus 7 is 5. So we'll write 5 over there. This side, we are remaining with 7. It's not 8. Remember, we removed 1. So it is 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. And this is the answer. So we look for this particular answer here. Do we have it? Do you see anything? Yes, it is A. Question number six. The number line below shows, so there's a number line, and this is how the number line is, is, is written. We have been given options here to find what this particular number line represents. And so, like you already know, looking at the number line, you always start from zero. And there's our zero. What happens is that we begin to move from zero, which is this line that you see here, zero to negative to negative three. And so we know that, okay, for a start, it is negative three. Then what happens? The number line changes direction from going into the negative side to going into the positive side. When that happens, it means that there will be a plus. Because remember, going in this particular direction is a minus. And then going in this particular direction is plus. That is why we have written this plus over here. 
it is the only reason why we have written that plus over there okay so we know that zero it it this number line there steps we're taking this is step number one step number one step number two step number three which is why we have this negative three over here plus how many steps are taken there's from from number three there is step one step two step three step four step five step six I'm going to put that in bracket and we're going to write six or if we want we can put plus six but sometimes it's okay you can leave that behind plus six and so the answer of these particular movements here is this one which is plus three do we have do we have this kind of answer in the sample answers that we've been given so let's check is it going to be the first one a yes a is the answer question number nine five to the power three can also be written as so remember that when a number is written like this for example four to the power seven what i am saying here is that i am multiplying four by itself seven times this one that's here is three to the power one two three four five it's three to the power five so this can be the answer what we see here as b again cannot be the answer because this is another way of writing three multiplied by one two three four five three multiplied by five then there is c five plus five plus five again this would just simply be equal to five multiplied by three the last one however is like i gave this particular example this one may qualify let's check five by five by five is equal to five to the power three and so the correct answer for this particular question question number nine is d question number 10 express the ratio 5 kg to 2 5 kg in its lowest terms remember that with ratios what we are going to write is a number here let's call it x we put those dots and another here which is p in this particular context in this particular question there is 5 and there is 25 this is how ratios are written so is this what we can leave it as the answer is no because the question says that we need to write this in its lowest terms so what number goes into 5 and at the same time goes into 25 the answer is 5 so 5 into 5 is going to be 1 and 5 into 25 is going to be 5 this is also written as 1 to 5 do we see anything similar to this on the list of sample answers that were given the answer is yes the answer to this question is b